I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes have been really puffy because I've been crying basically all morning, specifically since 7.23 a.m. when Twitter user CatTurd made this tweet. Dear liberals, I turned on all my gas stove eyes today and let them burn for no reason, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it but cry. Now, I'm not a liberal, but I'm still probably his target demographic as a leftist, but I have indeed been crying all morning just knowing that he turned on his gas stove. And thinking about it makes me so sad and somebody's got to stop him. I demand that the government knock down his door and immediately stop him from doing this. It's just, it's terrible. I'm going to cry again if I think about it. Now, he's not the only patriot who's standing up to the government's tyranny because, as you might have heard, well, the Biden administration wants to ban gas stoves and definitely forcibly confiscate them from your homes. Others are speaking out. I'm keeping my gas stove. You'll have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. God, guns, gas stoves. Don't tread on Florida and don't mess with gas stoves. Gas stoves for me, not thee. And there's a lot more where that came from. Now, here's a compilation of the hysteria over on Fox News, courtesy of MSNBC, where they kind of echo the same sentiment that they are refusing to uh, get rid of their gas stoves. Uh, your gas stove may be bye-bye. Joe Biden's climate change agenda now targeting your kitchen. Biden's coming for your gas stove. A ban on your gas stove. Ban gas-powered stoves. The White House is now attempting to ban all gas ovens. Safety. Safety. <laughs> and your family dinner is about to get a lot less tasty. America is not going to stand for this. There's not. A stove like this one could be banned soon. Nobody's going to tell me I can't cook with gas. Do you like to cook with gas? Many people do. I do. Mm. Flavor of the food, if you can do it. It's reportedly like considering a <laughs> Texas Congressman Ronnie Jackson, uh, Jackson writing in part, quote, I'll never give up my gas stove. If the maniacs in the White House come from my stove, they can pry it from my cold, dead hands. You want to help me stop this? Go to say go to savethestoves.com. I got a petition up and running that we're going to send to the Biden administration and tell them what nonsense this is and have them stop this stuff. This is so serious now that there's even a website, savethestoves.com, as Ronnie Jackson pointed out. And it is real. Yes, I checked. And it's basically a thinly veiled attempt for you to get on Ronnie Jackson's email list so he can send you fundraising emails, but we'll humor him. It reads, our stoves are at risk. Biden and Democrats want to ban gas stoves in every home, including yours. We can't let the maniacs in the White House get away with this. Now, as someone with a gas stove myself, I had to turn myself in. And as soon as I did, the government, they knocked down my door. They uh, pushed me aside and they took that gas stove out. One person just came and carried it out with one hand and... um. I had to do the honest thing. You know, having them tread on me was really uh, scary, but I just don't have the courage that these patriots have. Okay, obviously I'm being sarcastic here, but what's all hi the hysteria about the gas stove stuff? I'm sure that you've heard something about this. And now this is kind of the new culture war issue for the right. Well, Bloomberg reported that the Consumer Product Safety Commission was moving to regulate and potentially even phase out gas stoves following the release of a study that linked them to childhood asthma. So what are the risks? Well, the New York Times explains, when you use a gas stove, it emits poisonous gases called nitrogen oxides, including nitrogen dioxide, a respiratory irritant thought to trigger asthma. Cars, boats, and other machines also release these gases. A study published last year found that families who use gas stoves in homes with poor ventilation or without range hoods can blow past the national standard for safe hourly outdoor exposure to nitrogen oxides within just a few minutes. There are no agreed upon standards for nitrogen oxides in indoor air. Rates of nitrogen oxide emission levels were in direct proportion to the amount of gas the stove was burning, said Eric LaBelle, a senior scientist at PSC Health Energy, a nonprofit science and policy research institute focusing on energy and the environment and the lead author on the study. Ms. Seals co-authored a paper published in December that found that gas burning stoves may be linked to nearly 13% of childhood cases of asthma in the U.S. Past research shows that gas stoves led to more exacerbated asthma symptoms as well, she said. Now, the study referenced in the article contends that adults with asthma may see their symptoms worsen as a result of gas stoves, although there's less data about the effect
effects on adults. Now, in an article for Harvard Health, Dr. Wynne Armand suggests using an air purifier to mitigate the pollutants from the gas that stoves spew, because even if all of the toxins won't be removed from the air purifier, it still will improve overall indoor air quality. So there are real concerns with gas stoves, especially if you have children or if you're an adult with asthma. So these are things that I want to know about. As somebody with a gas stove myself, I do want to know about the health risks. And I'm not angry that we now have this information. And I think that these agencies that are regulating these companies are important. They protect us. Otherwise, we'd still have cigarettes with asbestos. Not that cigarettes are healthy themselves, but we'd still have a lot of toxic chemicals made because we know that these large multinational corporations will cut every corner possible to save a buck or two, even if that comes at the expense of our health. So I want to know about these things. But specifically, where did the hysteria come from on the right about banning this or even possibly confiscation? Well, to be fair, Richard Trumka Jr., the commissioner of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, told Bloomberg, quote, any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. So he did raise the possibility of banning it, explicitly so. That's where all of the hysteria came from. Now, again, as an individual with the gas stove myself, I saw the same quote that conservatives saw, and I didn't expect the government to be knocking on my door demanding that they confiscate my gas stove. I just expected, oh, okay, so they're probably going to start phasing these out and any uh, new homes or apartments that are built won't be allowed to use gas stoves. That's what I took away from this. But the reason why I had a more reasonable take is because I'm not an imbecile. Whereas conservatives, especially the politicians and pundits, they have an incentive to cultivate this sort of hysteria so that way they can get extra views and clicks. And that's exactly what they did. They exploited this opportunity and it absolutely led to normal rank and file Republicans losing their shit over this when that wasn't necessary at all. They're not taking regulatory action just yet. They're considering it. But because the reaction was so loud, the agency was forced to backtrack. Alex Honserik, the chair of the CPSC, tweeted, I want to set the record straight. Contrary to recent media reports, I'm not looking to ban gas stoves, and the U.S. CPSC has no proceeding to do so. Now, Pamela Rucker Springs, the agency's spokesperson, also clarified that they haven't even proposed any regulatory action on gas stoves at this time, and she explains that any action the agency actually wants to take would require a lengthy, transparent process. So it's not like the government can institute a policy change like that and all of a sudden, you're all breaking the law and you're going to go to jail if you have a gas stove. It doesn't work that way. I mean, imagine the government all of a sudden trying to forcibly confiscate gas stoves when about 40% of U.S. households have gas stoves. No, it's just completely infeasible. So the conservatives who had this knee-jerk reaction and thought that this is the new Orwellian America where they're just going to take another thing from us because we know that they confiscate a lot of stuff from us, our guns, our Bibles. It happens all the time. So, of course, gas stoves are next. I mean, can we just be realistic and not be so childish for like two seconds in this country? I mean, Jesus Christ. Now, look, currently, if you don't want to have a gas stove well, the Biden administration has given us an incentive to switch over thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act, which is offering an $840 rebate to consumers who want to switch from gas to electric or induction. And there may even be other rebates that you might qualify for thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act uh, if you switch your appliances to more um, energy efficient ones, though I'm not sure. But certainly when it comes to gas stoves, that is that is an option for us. So. I mean, this is just one of those stories where conservatives prove once again how unserious they are, where immediately they're turning on their gas stoves to trigger the libs. And I'm assuming they're like trying to inhale the flame just to take in all the toxins because they know that you hate that they're doing that so much and you're crying right now. They're just they're clowns. They're childish and there's nothing left to say. But um, look at my shirt. Pretty cool, right? It's a good shirt. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralism, woke moralism, woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.